begin with an opening statement, please. Um, first off, I want to thank our fans and everybody who came out, all the sports that represent Siena, Girls and Women's Sports Day. It was nice to have that kind of a crowd, great energy, and it felt really good to play, be able to play that hard um, in front of our, our crowd and our fans. And uh, just really, really appreciate everybody who came out. Um, hard fought game, got away from us in the second half. Um, they had too many open looks from three, and you know that in a nutshell. When a team goes 11 for 34 on you, you know, they, they want to shoot 33s. So as a coach, you have options. You can cut down possessions, um, switch up defenses, try to keep them off balance. I thought we turned them over pretty well in the first half. Turnovers obviously came back to bite us. But overall, pretty hard-fought game for our, our players. And, um, you know, if we face them again, we'll make some adjustments and we'll be all right. But I think if anything else for our players, um, you know, to have that kind of an atmosphere and that kind of a game um, shows how far we've come as a program. Questions? To go toe to toe with them for three plus quarters, I mean, what does that tell you about your team going forward? You, think? Yeah. you know, Mark, I know we have a really tough team, so I've never questioned that. Um, it's always been our ability to execute offensively and score. You know, that, that's that been something that has been a question mark for us this season. And I think that, you know, for us to, uh, granted, we gave up 83 points, and that's not. <laughs> It's not indicative of what kind of defensive team we've proven to be over the last couple of months. So, you know, there's probably some coaching adjustments that I'm going to have to make looking back at this tape. Um, but I think offensively for our players to put up those kinds of numbers, um, I think, you know, that gives us some momentum moving forward. Um, but we still lost. You know, I, I, think, I think back to where we were six years ago. Um, when John gave me the opportunity to be the head coach here and to be where we are right now, right on the verge, you know, knocking on the door with the teams in the top of the conference, we've proven we can beat Marist and we're knocking on the door with these guys and we'll get them eventually. Right now, we didn't do it today, but if we get another shot at them, I like our chances. Collins, did you feel you had them kind of rock back on their heels in the first quarter uh, with that run you had to hit them with? Yeah, definitely. I think the pressure really still, uh, pushed them back a little bit. I think they weren't um, expecting it, and I think it gave us some momentum in the first quarter. Ali, in the fourth quarter, how do you, I mean, there's only three points down going to the fourth. How do you think the game could maybe get away from you guys a little bit in the final ten minutes? I just think, like, we lost focus a little bit, kind of, when they made their run. We supposed to have bounce back, kind of. And, I mean, as a team, when you're tough, when you're playing against a tough team, like, they're going to make their runs, and that's what they did against us, and... We just have to play our full quarters more. To play that hard the entire game, do you think did it take a toll on you guys in the fourth? Did you sense the no, guys just, were losing their uh, legs are all getting total tired? No, I just think we had kind of mental errors. That's kind of what they capitalized on, our mental errors. And basically next game we just got to stay focused on the little things. And that's what they took over, took us over in the little things. Were you surprised at all your pressure gave them, gave them that much trouble early on? No, that? I know we're a tough defensive team. And I know I got players that are gritty and have a chip on their shoulder. And those are the types of players that we like here, and those are the types of players that we prove when we can win here with. And, you know, when I when we put Aaliyah on 25, on McClure, and made that adjustment, like, there's a fire in her eyes. Like, she wanted that challenge to guard Aaron. And, and Aaron had a, McClure had a great game. She had 23 points. You know, she went four for five from the three. You know, and, but we were in her early. You know, so... Um, I know I've got gritty, tough players. I'm not worried about that. Um, we've got to clean up some things to execute better, to compete. Um, Quinnipiac's got a target on their back. We're all chasing them, and we're right there. We know about Fame McClure. Did that number 11 Thornton, did she surprise you all uh, with those 10 you, points she ran you know off? What? The you know got to take your chances with them. And honestly, I'm more concerned with Fabry than I am with her. Like, we talked about it, and if she's going to beat you, she's going to beat you. You know, she's had games, I think actually at Central Michigan, she hit six threes. And she was the difference in that game and how they went into there and, and won that game. So she ebbs and flows, and there's games where she puts up numbers. But I'm more concerned. Like, I thought we did a very good job on Straubing. Um She's been hot. She had like 19 points two games ago. And for us to get her in foul trouble, that was a big key for Maddie to be able to go at her. Maddie went at her. Maddie had a great game tonight. Um, you know, Faye and McClure... Fabry's the one that's always been the thorn in our side. Fabry's been the one that's knocked down threes, you know, and blown the game open against us. So I've always kind of got my mind on her. I think Carly Fabry is the leader of that team, 
I think they go how she goes. I think she's steady. She's a coach's daughter. She's tough-minded, tough as nails. Um, you know, I think she's one of the best point guards and probably unsung heroes that this conference has ever seen. Well, Collins, I mean, Ellie was just saying that you, she feels like you're going to get them eventually. Can it be, a, can it be the next time if you see them again in the uh, MAC tournament? Yeah, definitely. It's hard to beat a good team three times. So. What do you guys have to do differently, do you think, or what can you improve upon if you see these guys again? Uh, Maybe less mental errors down the stretch. You got anything? Okay, good.